Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning the Prim's algorithm to construct the minimum spanning tree. So here a graph is given where we are having black color nodes. So this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. These are the vertices. These vertices are connected by the lines which are mentioned in the green color. So these are called the edges. On every edge there is a number assigned that is called the weight of that edge. This weight can be the cost or the distance. Let us assume from vertex 3 to 4 we are having edge which is having the cost 9. Let's say it is in dollar. So from 3 to 4 we can reach in 9 dollar. If this 9 is in kilometer, so from 3 to 4, we can reach from 9 kilometer, which is a distance. So this 9 can be any weight. Minimum spanning tree connect all the vertex without having any cycle and with minimum weight. Here we are using the Prim's algorithm to construct the minimum spanning tree from this graph. Prim's algorithm says that first of all we has to find out some arbitrary vertex so that will act as the start vertex. Here we are assuming that zero vertex is the start vertex. Now from the start vertex we has to find out what are the other connected vertices. We can see that one is connected with the zero as well as 7 is connected with the 0 and here weight is 4 and 8. Out of these we has to select the minimum weight edge. So here 4 is minimum so I am picking the edge 0 and 1. So in step 1 we have added edge from 0 to 1 and here we have traversed two nodes, one is the start node which is 0 and another is the node number 1. Now from the vertices which we have traversed that is 0 and 1, we has to find out what are the other connected vertices. We can see that vertex 2 is connected to vertex 1. Similarly, vertex 7 is connected to 1 and 0. And now we are observing their weights. So weight of edge 1 and 2 is 8 and weight of edge 0 and 7 is 8 and again the weight of 1 to 7 is 11. So out of these we has to pick the minimum weight edge. So 8 is the minimum weight. So we can pick any of the edge. It can be 1 to 2 or 0 to 7. Let us suppose I am picking the edge which is 0 to 7. So one more edge is added and here we have traversed one more vertex which is 7. There are three vertices which are traversed that is 0, 1, and 7. So from these vertices we has to see where we can reach. That means what are the other connected vertices. So from 1 we can reach to the 2. From 7 we can reach to 8 and 6. And their weights are 8, 7 and 1. So minimum weight is 1. We are picking the edge between vertex 7 and 6. In step 3, one more edge is added and we have traversed one more vertex which is 6. We have traversed vertices which is 0, 1, 7 and 6. We have to find out what are the other connected vertices? So from 1 we can reach to 2. 
So from 7 we can reach 8 and from 6 also we can reach 8. From 6 we can reach 5 and their weights are 8, 6 and 2. And here the minimum weighted edge is edge between 6 and 5 which is having the weight 2. In step 4, one more edge is added. So here in the graph, we have traversed one more vertex which is 5. So we have traversed vertices which are 0, 1, 7, 6 and 5. And we are finding that what are the other connected vertices. From 1, we can reach 2. From 7, we can reach 8, as well as from 6, we can reach 8. Also, from 5, we can reach 2. From 5, we can also reach 3 and 4. So, their weights are 8, 7, 6, 4, 14, and 10. Out of that, the minimum weighted edge is between vertex 2 and 5. In step 5, one more edge is added and we have traversed the vertex 2. So we have traversed the vertices which are 0, 1, 2, 5, 6 and 7. We can reach to vertex 8 from vertex 2, 7 and 6 and their weights are 2, 7 and 6. We can also reach to vertex 3 from vertex 2 and 5 and their weights are 7 and 14. We can also reach to vertex 4 from vertex 5 and the weight is 10. Out of these, the minimum weighted edge is 2. So here, from 2 to 8, we are putting the edge. In step 6, one more edge is added and we have traversed one more vertex, which is 8. So we have traversed vertices 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 and 8. We can reach to vertex 3 from vertex 2 as well as from vertex 5 and their weights are 7 and 14. We can also reach to the vertex 4 from vertex 5 and their weight is 10. So out of these we have to find the minimum weighted edge. We may have the option that this 6 is also the minimum weight. But we are not picking this 6. The reason is, if we connect 6 and 8, it will form a cycle. And in the minimum spanning tree, cycle should not be there. Also, we have traversed these vertices already. So there is no use of connecting this edge. So from these, we are picking the minimum and the minimum is 7. So here we are connecting the edge from 2 to 3. So one more edge is added and here we have traversed one more vertex which is 3. So we have traversed the vertices 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And only one vertex is remaining, which is vertex 4, where we can reach from vertex 3 and 5. And their weight are 9 and 10. And the minimum weighted edge is from vertex 3 and 4. So in step 8, one more edge is added and we have traversed one more vertex, which is vertex 4. So here the minimum spanning tree is created using the Prim's algorithm. Here we can see that we have traversed 
all the vertices so connecting all the vertex and here we don't have any cycle and with the minimum weight now we are finding the total weight of this minimum spanning tree starting from 4 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 7 plus 9 and that is equal to 37. So this 37 is the weight of minimum spanning tree which we have created from Prim's algorithm. In Prim's algorithm, in all the steps, we have observed that there are connected components means everywhere the vertices are connected using the edges. There is one more algorithm of minimum spanning tree which is Kruskal algorithm and Kruskal algorithm may have disconnected components but this Prim's algorithm always have connected components. The time complexity of Prim's algorithm is big O of E log V where E is the number of edges and V are the number of vertices. So we have learned the Prim's algorithm to find minimum spanning tree from the graph. So that's all about today. Thank you.